What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial and uh, this one is on my crystal effect as you can see it's right here um, I don't really have any examples of this um, can pull some up real quick um, right here uh, so it's pretty much this effect of crystals behind the logo uh, it's not exactly like Dare Vader's uh, kryptonite effect is slightly different but it's still a pretty cool effect so what you guys are gonna want to do is download the Lightroom I have in the description because uh, the whole process in doing this is a real bitch and don't really want to explain it but yeah so once you guys download um, the Lightroom you're gonna want to open it up and you'll see something like this and it'll just be normal blank whatever and uh, once you do that you're gonna wanna bring in your logo um, I will just do um, I'll do no I wanna use dare where's dare dare alright uh, so here's the logo just gonna do something real quick yeah, you guys don't have to do that step, but yeah. Um, so you're gonna bring your logo over, center it like in this uh, yellow T, upside down T thing. You want to center it there. Um, make it, uh, bring in your extrude nerves and just do your normal setup. Um, don't do any nitro blasting or anything like that. Uh, you just want to have the normal logo with your villa cap and that all that good stuff so I'm just gonna do that alright so once you do that you're gonna wanna duplicate it and hide the duplicated extrude nerves uh, go back to the normal one right click select children right click make edible right click select children right click connect objects and delete and you should get a null and once you do that, you're going to want to drag that uh, below the target and then select all these cloners and drag them onto the extrude nerve. And what should happen is all these crystals should come up. And um, you can, the one with the weird glassy material, you can uncheck that one because that one's not really necessary. But depending on your logo, it might be. Um, uh, it's a second cloner um, so yeah once you do that you're gonna wanna select that whole null and actually I have my lightroom in here let me take that out or my lights in here I'm gonna take that out um, select that whole null and just drag it back a little bit and you can uh, reselect your duplicated extrude nerves and just make sure this is back far enough so it's behind the logo so like that and I'm gonna unselect this real quick so you get something like that and you can always make this smaller to fit your logo better so like that and yeah then you can just go to your logo and what I, I usually do is um, uh, duplicate this, get my atom array, put that in there, make this about 0.4, just put a random color on it, I'll just do this, and then I like to nitro blast this, but you can do whatever you want, you can also add like reaper x and things like that, uh, just, just play around with this, um, just gonna do this real quick and render it out for you guys. Pussy takes the anal. And once you do that, uh, once that goes, all right. Um. So I'm just going to play with this Nitro Blast real quick. Oh, 
up shit. And I'm just gonna render this out with no anything really, just quick. Just normal thing. And you'll get something like this. And it's gonna look bad because I don't have the global illumination or anything selected, but that's a general idea. And uh, the material I like to use for this is the uh, one that I don't have selected in the null. So it's this one right here. Uh, these blue ones are actually kind of bad. So yeah, but thank you guys for watching, uh, please leave a like and a comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already, peace.